this is Cat for Tech Digest. As you can see, I am on the south bank of the Thames in London, uh, and with thanks to Vodafone, I am going to be throwing in some of my gadgets into the river. Now, I haven't gone mad much, uh, as it's all in the name of science. Now, all of these gadgets claim to be waterproof, so I'm going to see just how waterproof they are. So, without further ado, the first of my electronics that I'm going to be throwing into the murky depths of the Thames is my Windows mobile smartphone. Now I'm really scared by this because this is my phone. Uh, however, it is in a waterproof case by Overboard. So let's just see if these waterproof cases really do do the trick. So one moment, please. really scared. Let's see. Well, it still appears to be working. It's switching on. Let's see if it's nice and dry inside. Okay. It appears to be dry still. Um, obviously that's wetness from my hand which has gone on the mobile, but it is working so that's something. So thank God, I don't know what I would have done if that had broken. Now the second gadget that I'm going to throw into the river is this Olympus 850 SW digital camera. Now as you can see on the sticker, it claims that it's waterproof to up to three meters. Now I don't know if it's going to withstand the dirtiness of the Thames. It is looking pretty rank today. Day, but let's give it a go. Oh, this is scary. Okay. Let's turn the power on. Oh, and it is working. I can't believe it. I was really scared about that one, so thank goodness. Next to go into the Thames is this G-Shock watch by Casio. Let's have a look. Oh, it looks disgusting, but yes, the seconds are still rolling. I don't think that's actually the correct time, obviously, but the seconds are still rolling. I'm feeling a bit muddy now. I have mud all over my hands. I hate this. Anyway, the next gadget is um, iPod portable waterproof speakers from iWoot, an online retailer. Now you can't actually dunk these underwater, but they do claim to be waterproof if you just sort of rest them on top of the water. And as you can see, they do look fairly durable. So that's my iPod inside. Let's see if it's going to work. I think I just got water in the speaker, but oh well. Let's see if it's still waterproof inside where the iPod is. Yes, it is still waterproof. Um, however, my iPod isn't actually working now. That isn't a fault of the speakers. It's just because iPods are generally a bit rubbish and mine hasn't worked for about six months controversial no now the second last gadget to go in is my personal PSP I'm really quite worried about this because I use my PSP a lot when I'm traveling however it is going in the Thames okay let's see if I'll be able to play wipeout anymore oh. Okay, it looks dry inside. Now, will it switch on? Yes, it is turning on. Fantastic. Now, let's see if an average rubber ducky can withstand the dirtiness of the Thames. Oh no! It looks as though the Thames has killed my rubber ducky. 